darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas day, day 21. Charlie and I are currently bumbling down the lanes on our way to Dalesford because today, this morning, we have got our lazy brunch um, kitchen. What do, you, what do you actually call it, darling? It's cookery course. Cookery course, yes. This is one of Charlie's advent gifts. Um, and it's gonna be great fun to do it together. We are fully layered up, bundled up, because it is still quite snowy outside, but at the moment it's kind of like, it's almost as though there is ice falling from the clouds. Everything is melting, everything is melting, but yes. super slowly. Yeah. So like yesterday was the day where all the snow was falling out of the trees, and it was quite magical watching it all fall down, yeah. but it was quite noisy. It was. Uh, I was in the garden, I was like, what's going on? But yeah. um, t t I do think sadly, we're gonna have a bit of rain the next couple of days. Yeah. So it's gonna get a bit boggy and a bit grim. The next least couple of days cold. are the days when your car gets absolutely filthy. Yeah. Because melted snow on the mud. Yeah, it's oh gonna be goodness. a bit grim. But, it's gonna be a little bit grim. But yeah, I was hoping, so today, so Dales for Cookery Courses are great you know, for anyone that's thinking about something that's a blend between a fun experience and learning something new. Yeah. I, overall, I do prefer the time cookery course because it's intense cooking yeah but for, i think for the average person that just wants to learn a few new things yeah this is a more fun experience and yeah. it's 10 till 2 gosh with a good, is it yeah with a half an hour or an hour break ah. a half an hour break i think I didn't know it was that long um yeah but i mean it will be so that's a half day four hours yeah um so i think you do three dishes so it'll be three different brunch dishes wow. and then a short one's a pancake dish i think Ooh. so i thought it would be up your stream can't wait and then the best thing about doing a Dalesford cookery course is that you get a voucher afterwards, or like a discount. I think it's 10% off, um... It's 10% off all the home stuff. Yes. And it's 25, I believe, off food. Yes. And that's, so a, that's a good one, because that includes all the mince timing. pies, granola, mm -hmm. all the like nice treats. All of the treats. And um, because Robin last night bought over, what was it, like an apple juice frizzante? It was a, spark it was a sparkling apple juice, but it was in a champagne bottle, and it wasn't crazy sweet because yeah. it wasn't like an appetizer was it it was no. a really nice refreshing crisp it was drink. lovely and we thought because obviously charlie doesn't drink i don't drink that much and it's nice to have something non-alcoholic between the champagne and the rosé and the gnts uh, so we thought it'd be nice to have a non-alcoholic option just to spread things out and enjoy it over christmas so we're going to pick up as many bottles as, as we, we can, can fit in the car. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing a big old Dalesford haul and we're nearly there, so let's get going. Do you Defender. They've got a couple of different Defenders, haven't they? One's like the Bamford one, one's the Abbot. Oh, careful, Where mate. we're going to be making today. Oh my goodness, so it's a lazy brunch cookery school. A little bit of info, warm salad of soft leeks, poached egg and dukkha. Yum. Gingerbread pancakes. You guys trying to fall? And the dishing bacon. Oh, yes. So we've had the tutorial, now it's our turn to practice. We're starting with the baked eggs yeah. and leek. We're going to do the leeks in here, aren't we? Uh, yeah, a little bit of olive, olive oil in, in first. I think we probably have uh, a nice skills. So you're meant to be like gliding it, like a rocking. I don't think the knife ever leaves the board. I'm going to try my hand at knife skills. So. You want your knuckles out, your fingers tucked, and the knife doing a seesaw action. 
Oh no, you need to do the fuck. Yeah, nailed it? Yeah. Could make your hand ache a little bit. egg. First tip is to make sure your eggs are as fresh as possible. That will stop the, the yolk from spreading. Are you yolking, mate? You are yolking. I think we need to majorly turn down the water. Yeah. So you want to add a little splash of apple cider vinegar into your water. And another tip is to add your eggs into ramekins so you can very carefully pour them in. Create a little bit of a vortex to get a bit of motion in the ocean. And then drop it from not a height. That's the idea of the ramekin. Swirls all together. Nice. It's probably still got enough movement actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pour it in, not from a height. And then you actually take them off the heat for four minutes. Completely off the heat, so maybe pop it in the back right. Pop a lid on. of the yogurt and tahini mix. And breakfast is served, so let's see the moment of truth. Poached egg with fried leek, yogurt harissa. Slightly, Ooh. slightly under. I don't mind it like that, but yours should be okay. Then. Perfect.
rate it, Danny? This is so good. Better than Dishu? Really made this, but as good not, as? Well, it's better than the ones we've made from Dishu. Mm. So it's a Dishu inspired naan mm. with chili jam and bacon. Oh, can't wait to dig in. Our next challenge gingerbread pancakes with yogurt and caramelized pears. I'm gonna do the pancakes, and Charlie's gonna do the pears. We have completed our lazy brunch cookery school and we've got our certificates to prove it and most importantly or just as importantly our certificate acts as our discount for today so got Charlie's a got a mega list just that. it's not like we came prepared or anything <laughs> just let's see if we can make up the cost of the cooking okay, school can. with the can. amount that we'll save All right, right we challenge let's accepted there's Dalesford supermarket sweep <laughs> can you imagine that would be so epic doing a supermarket right. sweep of Dalesford Okay, what do we need from this section? Nothing from here, we're into here mate. Right. Okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Go, go, carry Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, as soon as we get busy in here, sorry, we can okay. get up now. More table inspo. Gosh, look at the huge tall candles. You told me I wasn't allowed to buy any more crockery. Sorry? You told me I wasn't allowed to buy any more crockery. No, we're not. We're buying one gravy jug that matches the current one mm -hmm. because we've got two gravy jugs at the moment. They don't match. And we are home again with our exceptionally smelly sausages. You have just got such bad breath, my sweet little boy. That was such a fun way to spend the day. It was a four hour course, 10 till two. I feel like I picked up so many tips ranging from knife skills to um, some facts about seasoning and how best to use it and the group of people that were on our course. It was just a really fun, fun group. We were all um, <laughs> sharing our best cheese jokes, which you know that Charlie and I just love the, uh, the food related puns. So yeah, really, really wonderful afternoon. We are now setting up base camp, joined by Dexy now, here in the drawing room. I think we're going to wheel the sky glass TV into here, pop some Christmas films on, and really knuckle down with our wrapping. So I have cleared the um, table. This is going to be my main wrapping station. I will leave our blog post link down below, which is where we shared our favourite, uh, more eco-friendly gift wrapping brands. One of my favourite things to do, and arguably one of the most affordable ways of wrapping gifts. We love to use use craft paper, recycled craft paper, um, and then decorate with lovely ribbons. I've got this box of ribbons ranging from things that I've probably foraged to little um, bits and bobs that I've collected over time. If someone gives me a gift and it's wrapped in a really lovely ribbon, then I will fold it up and reuse it. Um, and then we've got some of our slightly jazzier gift wraps down here, usually which I save for the slightly smaller gifts, which Dickie is investigating. This is a lovely wrapping paper that I picked up at the Newt, so I'll be using that one. Um, and then when we do stocking fillers, sometimes if it's a really small or awkwardly shaped gift, we'll just use tissue paper. So this is the setup. Um, are we going to bring in the sky glass, darling? Yeah. Bring in the TV, Charlie wants to light the fire, and it is gift wrap until we drop. <laughs>
Okay, it's about an hour later and we're doing well. We have got one, two, three, four, five sacks of gifts done. We've got about two more people left to go. Somebody is being exceptionally needy and he's normally like this when the fire alarm has gone off because he really, really can't bear the high-pitched noise. Um, but I don't know why he's being so needy today. Whenever I sit down, he just has to be on my lap and when I stand up, he's begging to be lifted. Should we go into the living room for a bit so maybe it's the smoke that's bothering you? And um, I've decided I'm going to make myself a festive mac and cheese for my dinner. Let's go to the kitchen, baby. Come on. My dream car for, oh my god, just years I had planned to. I have just gone to the petrol station to pick myself up. I'm going to get inside now, have my meal deal, enjoy that. Obviously, you've got the spare time down myself. <gasps> Okay, the cranberry mac and cheese with my walnut, pistachio and breadcrumb topping is ready to go in the aga. We picked up a really good tip today at the um, cookery school and it was actually a and it was actually a tip from another of the attendees and she said that the most epic crumble from top of a cauliflower cheese is actually garlic bread that has been wazzed up in a blender and it's absolutely perfect for us because we do lasagna and garlic bread on Christmas Eve evening so we'll just save a few bits of garlic bread, let it get a bit stale overnight and then blend it all in the blender for our thank you, darling, cauliflower cheese on Christmas day you want to make sure you use it all. Right, are you not using any parmesan? Not cheddar. Oh, oh, it's cheddar. Lovely. Cheers, What's mate. Cheddar, mate. Yep. So we're going in the Arga for about 15 minutes ish. I keep an eye on it until it goes nice and golden, during which time I get my washing up done. Okay, my darlings, mac and cheese, can you see it, is done and it is smelling absolutely amazing. And this is the stage that it's so hard to like control myself not to just dig in, but it's literally hotter than the surface of the sun, so I have to give it a couple of minutes. Um, and I thought I would tell you why I'm so obsessed with mac and cheese. Somebody actually uh, left a comment in the festive mac and cheese video asking why I am so obsessed with it um, and funnily enough when I made Chloe and I the Christmas mac and cheese when I was filming the last vlog she also said Josie why why is it that you're so obsessed with mac and cheese this may be a very boring story but I'll tell you anyway um, when I was 18 I spent a month in Tanzania we did a month of um, charity work we painted murals in the school we did a month of like acclimatization and um, trekking through the Lushoto mountains sorry did I say a month we did a month in total a week doing each of these things a week climbing Kilimanjaro and then a week R&R &R, basically we did more charity work um, in uh, I can't actually remember the name of the place but it was on the coast in Tanzania during that time whether this is still true or not, um, well, as like backpackers, campers, we couldn't access milk or cheese, and for some reason we also couldn't access pasta. Before this trip as an 18 year old, I'd actually never even heard of mac and cheese, I'd certainly never made it for myself, but because we couldn't access pasta, milk or cheese while we were there for a month, that is what I was craving. And I always used to love pasta, always, always, always. Um, and I just was craving like a milky cheesy pasta so when we got home the first thing that I wanted to make or eat was just a milky cheesy pasta so knowing that it was a mac and cheese or not I don't think I even did at the time I just threw all of these ingredients together and made a mac and cheese and it satisfied a month's worth of craving and it was just the best meal I've ever had in my life I don't know why I have to have an ice cold Ribena with my mac and cheese. Maybe it's kind of like a palate cleanser because this is actually this is something else we learned at Dalesford today is that a really great meal or a really great even bite has lots of different flavour profiles in it. So sweet, sour, savoury, umami, salt and this has all of those except for the sweet which my Ribena has so maybe that's my 
taste buds being like, this is what you need for the perfect meal. Is it Michelin star and cookery snob worthy? Absolutely not. But do I love it? And would, would this be my, my death row meal? Absolutely. I mean, look at that. Yes, I will eat this entire portion to myself. Um, if you're looking for a really random last minute Christmas gift, I did find these stout things on Amazon. Um, <laughs> side note, I've done a last minute Amazon Christmas gift guide, which I'll leave linked down below. Um, but yeah, okay, I think I've been chatting now for three minutes. So I'm gonna go and finish watching Harry Potter and enjoy my mac and cheese. Let's go. We were just- Be careful. People will think you. Up to something. Full. But it's so delicious, I can't stop eating. Fun fact for any Harry Potter fans, this is the first scene that they ever filmed, even though it's actually the last. And if you look closely, Hermione has got fake teeth in, she's got buck teeth in implants in, and Ron Weasley has got Oh no, Harry has got contact lenses in, but they decided to change it after this first scene filming, yeah. He does actually look younger here than in... You could always um, threaten him with a nice pair of ears to go with that tail of his. But Hagrid, you're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. You know that. I do. But your cousin don't do it. Hey? I don't know. The wand chooses the wizard Chick-fil-A. 